Welcome, we'll talk about one of the very important topics that is rat hole mining. Now this has been in news of recent a lot. So let's understand a kind of historical perspective and then talk about what it is exactly and why it has been new in news a lot. So when we talk about mining of coal specifically, you have two types of coal structures. One where the coal seam is very very thick. When the coal seam is very very thick as in the case of Jharkhand, what you can do is a kind of open cast mining. That mining is not at all risky. On the other hand, when you have a very thin coal seam that is there, what you do is basically the mining of the coal becomes very very expensive. Now this kind of thin coal seam is present in the regions of Meghalaya, mainly the East Jayantia hills. Now in the East Jayantia hills, if we look around, a very thin coal seam is present. However, for Meghalaya's economy, this becomes a very substantial portion. So Meghalaya government does not want to lose out the money that's coming from the coal mining. In order to work around the mining for such a thin coal seam, what is done is a rat hole mining. Rat hole mining is a term which is very very similar to rats mining the hole. So that means the holes are dug which are very very deep into the ground and they are very very thin. That means only one or two person can go into the hole and extract. Once they enter into the hole in the morning, they can come out only in the late evenings after the whole day job is done. But you have a Kopili river nearby and flooding usually takes place. So when you have flooding, what would happen? You would have water that would accumulate in these holes that are being dug. As a result, the people who are going in for the mining, the miners who are going in, are usually lost because even the ones who come to save them have a capability to go only up to 100 feet deep and sometimes these are 160 feet deep 150 feet deep and more so recently we had a story where you had 15 people who are basically who are under the floods in the mines so this has become illegal in Meghalaya since 2014 in 2014, NGT banned mining, the red hole mining in Meghalaya. But Meghalaya government has been constantly pushing for uh, the mining because this is one of the major sources of the economy. Again, one very important thing that comes here is the coal mafia that exists in this region. The illegal mining that's constantly taking place. So what the Supreme Court has given a decision is Till 31st of January 2018, all the mining that would be done uh, has been done so far. The extraction of that would be allowed. No further mining activities would be allowed till the next hearing is up on 15th of January. So that's how the things have proceeded so far. But in essence, we can understand this red hole mining is a very, very important issue. Uh, even for your environmental concerns, when we say it's a risky proposition, it's illegal, it has been banned as of 2014 by NGT, the National Green Tribunal. So those are some of the issues that have come up. But uh, one more important thing that has been seen is because of this mining activity that is going in this region, the Kopili River has become acidic in the Meghalaya regions. So that's again one of the major concerns and you have thousands and lakhs of people who are involved directly and indirectly with this coal mining activity in Meghalaya. So we should be looking for some alternate employment opportunities for those if this is banned in that region. So all those are the issues that have become very very important for this rat hole mining. We'll be bringing many more such contemporary topics important for your geography and GS in the upcoming lectures. So stay tuned, have a wonderful day ahead.